Good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom to everyone at SW3 and beyond, to all our friends. First of all, how wonderful last Shabbos was together, 47 of us local Chelsea residents. Beautiful atmosphere. Come again, we're doing this on Jan 22nd and hopefully more times after that. For those of you who have experienced it, you know it's just beautiful. And tell your friends, we'd love to have more. There's plenty of room. This week's Parsha Sidra is Vayigash. Joseph's brothers, still not recognizing him, needing food, have had enough of his dillying and daddying. And Judah, the big brother, not the oldest, but the one in control, he tells Joseph, what are you doing? Why? Why are you doing this to us? Who are you? You're just a viceroy. We're just a family who need food. And eventually Joseph reveals himself to his brothers. Our rabbis tell us that this connection this story can be connected to the story of when Bilam the merchant prophet of doom the non-Jewish prophet who was retained to curse the Jewish people in the wilderness when he is riding towards this cursing opportunity with his donkey and an angel is placed in front of the donkey with a sword in his hand and the donkey stops but Bilam doesn't see the donkey the donkey sees the donkey the angel Bilam does not. And Bilam hits the donkey. Donkey says, can't you see there's something in front? And then finally Bilam is revealed. He can see the angel too. And the rabbis say that Bilam not recognizing the angel is the same as Joseph's brothers not recognizing him. The rabbi from Alexander, the Ismach Israel, asks, you're comparing the tribes of Jacob, the our ancestors, to Bilam, the most wicked prophet, non-Jewish the, the, the biblical answer to Goering and, and, and Goebbels? How can they be compared? And he answers so brilliantly and simply. He says, if you're standing in front of something which is so obvious to everyone around you, every single Egyptian knew, who is the guy in charge of food? Oh, Joseph, the Jewish guy who was a prisoner. Everyone knew that. And yet his brothers are staring him in the face. But if God does not want you to see what's exactly in front of you, you won't see it. From the holiest collective in the world at the time to the world's most evil man. If something is staring at you in the face, but God doesn't want you to see it, you won't see it. Our mission is to make sure that we see everything what's in front of us. And make sure we don't disregard anything in front of us. Because opportunity comes if we're lucky once. We need to grab the opportunity. See what's in front of us. Identify it and do the right thing. It's a beautiful message. Good Shabbos. Jan 22nd is so round the corner. Can't wait to see you. Have a lovely day.